Çamda sıkıyor lan lan. Müthiş atıyor. Benim kaşan. A long and emotional journey for a group of Syrian refugees who landed in Toronto yesterday morning. They came to Canada from different cities and different regions of Syria. Now they begin the task of starting over. Joining us is Nazar Palhedian. Thank you for coming in. You have only been here for 24 hours. Uh, yes. Less how than how are you? <laughs> Fine. Well, you ha tell me what it was like to get off the plane and know you're in Canada. The first feeling was it's the new beginning, the new white page that we're going to start. The security, the stability, and excitement with a mix of little bit fear of new challenges, new country, new society. But it was amazing. You were living in Lebanon? Yes. For how long? For two years. For two years? Yeah. And you were going to school there? Yes. I was going to university, completing my education because I stopped it in Syria. You, you were going to school when you were in Syria. And tell me about what Syria was like when you left and your decision to leave. We decided to leave when the problems started in Aleppo. And even my flight was the last flight from Aleppo, then the airport was closed. So the, thing, uh, the, the, the situation overall became worse. Uh, or the neighborhood started having those problems and uh, fighting between oppositions and government. So I left Syria because over here I am youth and I have some military, uh, let's say, duties. So I left there. Because you didn't want to be. Yes, I don't be involved in the war. And I started new life. Even I lost more than two years of university because I was a senior year student. And then I established new life in Lebanon during the last two years. When did you decide to come to Canada? When we heard about the opportunity. Well, I love to call it the golden opportunity. We started to think and preparing our papers. So it's been one year, about nine months, when we started uh, the, the papers issues. When you left Syria and arrived in Lebanon and enrolled in school there, at that point, did you think you would be able to go back to Syria? No, but I didn't even think that I will, I will cross the the oceans and be in Canada. So I was just it's like temporary solutions till things will be fixed and okay in Aleppo. So it was like just two years of uh, studying in Lebanon and at the end the trip was ended in Canada. So you filled out papers to, to come to Canada a year ago and, and when did you find out that yes, you'd be able to come? So we started in December 2014, the papers. Then our first interview was uh, in March. Then I, we got the visa at May and May. So now, uh, because of the high dune uh, collaboration and help and support, we have very fast, let's say, uh, process. Yeah, that, that is quite quick yes, for you to be in, able to make in it. Overall, in overall nine months and we were here. Tell me about the, the situation now, you've been watching it as well, seeing what people are going through as they flee Syria yes, yes, and other yes. countries, but we'll deal with Syria for the moment, and are stopped in camps and behind fences, and, you know, they don't have orderly paperwork. And yes. that, you know, in terms of looking at your country and the people in it, how do you feel? Maybe on the media uh, or the overall, the the world society, let's say, realized this problem during the last two months when we saw the pictures of the kids mm -hmm. on the beach. But during the last two years and more, Syrian and Syrians are suffering from such a kind of, uh, let's say, death and treats. People left their homes and now are they there in uh, camps uh, behind fences and they can't go back to Syria, even they can't escape to go to as a refugee to any country. So there are lots of need they help. There's lots of support, help they need there. Do you have family still there? No, my family came with me, but we have still a little bit of relatives. Even they are waiting their uh, process. Uh, they are contacting us on each day. Please, now you're at Canada, help us to know how, how we can fix it and we can go more fast, faster. Nazar, welcome to Canada. Thank you for coming in and speaking with us this morning. We are thankful for your welcome. We are thankful to the Canadian government and hope this new life will end in the white like the, let's say, snows. Yeah. In and here's <laughs> your continuing education too. Yes, for Thanks sure. Again. Thank you.